Hi friends, welcome to Code Chana and in this video we are going to take a look at how to install specific versions of library using pip install and some other methods as well. So let's get started. So for this example I am going to open my command prompt and make a new folder on my desktop. So let's say a specific version and now we are going to just navigate to that. So cd specific version okay there are just so many folders there so specific version all right now we are going to create a virtual environment in it. so let's do that quickly because i'm going to install some libraries locally because i already have those libraries globally installed in my system because i've been working on that in other projects so let's do that now after this complete installation we are going to activate that virtual environment if for some reason this doesn't happen to you, then I have a video on how to create a virtual environment in your system in Windows 10 specifically. So please go through that video. The link is in the description as well. So let's activate it. env slash scripts and then activate. Now, as you can see, the env is at the left corner there. So our virtual environment is activated. Now we are going to just pip install flask. Now, before I do that, before I follow that command, let me show you what happens when you follow that command. So, I'm going to open this pypy.org and let's uh, search Flask here. Okay, so the latest version, and this is the library I'm talking about, the latest version is 1.1.2, released on April 3rd, 2020. So, let's click on it. So this is the same command that we are currently inputting here. See, so when we input that command and it runs that command, it is going to install, well, it will go to this pypy.org and it will begin downloading and installing Flask library in our local environment, this virtual environment, all right? Now, if for some reason this latest version is not working for you because in some libraries, in some projects, you might be working with older version of libraries. It happens with several deep learning and machine learning libraries like Keras. For some reason, it works with TensorFlow 1.2 and not the latest one. So if something like that happens, you really do need an older version. If that happens, you just need to click on this release history and then pick the version that someone has suggested you or you have researched and that's the version that's working really well so for let's say for example this version that came out on 27th april 2018 worked really well with your project so let's click on it and see the change in this particular command i'm just going to move it to the right see the change in command pip install flask and then double equals which means What's the value it equals to? So double equal is important. And then the version number. So that's 1.0. You can either copy this command directly from here and paste it here, or you can simply edit your command with double equals and then 1.0. So let's just press enter. And it has successfully installed Flask 1.0. To confirm that, let's just do pip show Flask and see flask 1.0 is currently in our system now what if you don't want to do that what if you want to do it some other way well click on downloads file here and then you have two more options see this pip install flask as you just saw was a little slower because it contacted the pypy server and then download it and then install the files so i'm going to uninstall this package so in our command prompt do pip uninstall and then flask you don't need to specify a version number because we are currently working with just one library in our local environment so just press enter it's going to ask you that so press yes and yes so successfully uninstall and version number 1.0 all right so now back to this pypy.org so we have two types wheel type and this star.cz compressed file so depending on your need, you might be selecting wheel file or source file. 
all right to work with wheel file you need to have wheel installed in your system now by default it actually comes with python installation and every time you create a virtual environment this wheel library is going to be installed with that local environment so let's check whether we have it or not so pip show we all right so we do have that package so now we can install via this file as well or you can do this compressed file both options are good so how do we do that you just need to click on this file and it is going to be downloaded well whatever your download folder is by default as you can see it's this download folder so you can move it to the current directory which in my case as well i did a mistake there so it's in Cortana and then a specific version i was supposed to do it in desktop but well sorry about that so you can either paste it here but it is not needed you don't need to do that you can just shift and then right click this file and now you can copy as path all right so let's click on that and now you can do so let me just uh, cross check whether i have it or not so pip show flask and yes package not found so now let's do pip install and this time i'm going to paste this complete path of this wheel file so let's do that let's press enter and yes and see the speed at which it installed it did not look for the file slowly or it did not download go out there find the server and all of that so that's where it saves time if you have a fast internet connection it is much preferable to just download all of your libraries inside a folder and then you can do this particular method to install them quickly because some packages are actually quite large uh, let me show you one so that's actually tensorflow all right so let's do this tensorflow and now click on downloads file and uh, well as you can see this is 173 mb and that's for mac os you can see the windows one where is it this is the linux version yes this is win amd so this is the windows version and that's 370 mb so download this file first and then you can use this command in this method to install it much quicker than before all right so that's the whole process and the same goes with this tar file as well so i'm just going to navigate back to this flask and now this time First of all, we are going to remove this. So pip uninstall flask and say yes. All right, so uninstall successfully. Now we are going to save this tar file as well. So same thing, just show in folder and now shift right click that file, copy as path and this time do pip install same thing, either right click to paste it there we go or control v to paste it press enter it's going to process that file and see now at this point i hope you notice that it build the wheels for collected packages so that's where it is going to slow the process down a little so if you process this with direct wheel file it is going to go much faster so the preferable method if you ask me is installing via a wheel file see it created this wheel file name is equal to flask 1.0 so it created this wheel so if we take out this process and we install directly via wheel file it is going to go much faster in any case so there are three ways to install it directly via pypy.org or any of the supported servers that host that file via pip install command second is via wheel file and third is via this star and actually there are just so many more methods you can also install uh, any library via github that's for another video all right also if you're working with flask i have some wonderful tutorial on my channel so make sure you check it out and for any questions please follow my whatsapp group the link is in description thanks for watching and please do comment in the section below so i can improve my videos take care bye bye